hello friend whoops here we go as always having to close that thing hello 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 it's 2023 Woo! welcome to a new year and welcome to coffee break pair my name is ginger and i'm a priest with the celtic christian church today i'd like to invite you uh to join me in praying for the big bad right who are the people that just um are seem to enjoy, almost enjoy creating uh, conflict in the world around them. And um, anyway, sometimes, um, I don't know, like you don't like to say the word evil about other human beings, but certainly what some people do is so um, horrible that that's the word that comes to mind. So we're going to pray for three big bad today. Two of them will be of your choice, and one of them, let's just start with, um, just for the heck of it, let's start with good old Vlad, who probably could use some prayers for his inner life, if nothing else, right? So let's begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit, please help us. Teach us to pray for each other with genuine kindness. Help us to really, really love each other, especially those who are enemies in our lives. So, friend, I invite you. I'm going to bring down my injured foot. Still in the boot. Oh, yep. I'm going to bring it down to help me to come more into the moment. Um, and uh, pray for the big bad. Whoa. All right. So, Holy Spirit, um, please help us to come back to now, come back to this moment. Life can feel overwhelming a lot, even sometimes with good things. And so, um, we ask the grace to come back to now. Friend, I invite you to join me for a couple deep breaths, and then we'll just start praying for Vladimir, okay? <sighs> Lord Jesus, you promised that when two or more gather in your name, you are there right in the middle of them. And so my friend and I who are praying right now, we're separated by space and time, but yet we come to you to pray and we invite you to join us. And so in whatever unique way, you are present to those who gather together in your name. And we thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for just being that source of life and goodness in our midst. We ask you to help us to pray for our enemies. You told us we needed to do that, that that was what was good for us as well as for them. Help us to do so. And in particular, right now, my Lord, we lift up to you Vladimir Putin. And we ask you to bless him today, to truly bless him in whatever his deepest needs are really are, whatever he needs in his body, in his spirit, in his life, in his mind. We pray for clarity of mind and peace of heart and generosity of spirit. Um, it's tempting when we pray for a big bad like Vladimir Putin to want to pray that mostly for our own sake or for the sake of those who are suffering because of him, because of the actions he's taking. And we do ask for that. We begin our prayer by asking you to place a shield around him to protect the world from whatever malice or evil decision-making or poor decision-making is, is, is coming out from this one human being. And then once we feel like, okay, we've entrusted this person to you, Lord, and this person is, is covered, I guess I kind of picture like a great big dome like a cake, almost like a fancy cake lid with the glass thing knob on top, right on top of the person. So the rest of us, especially those, um, the victims of his violent intent are protected from him for this moment at least. We ask you to continue to protect the world from the malice of all the big bad, but in particular Vladimir Putin. But now that he's in there, Lord, we ask your blessing upon him as a human being. 
as a brother, as your beloved, because you do love him. And so we ask your blessing right now upon Vladimir Putin, that he would relax into the knowledge that he is loved by you, that you would bless and comfort him in his fears. Give him the strength to acknowledge truth and give him wisdom to know how to act for good in the world to help build up your reign on earth and then give him the courage and the strength to actually do it. We especially ask today your blessing on his relationships with those in his family, that they would be loving, truly loving. We ask your blessing upon Vladimir and all that he needs at this moment. We invite your Holy Spirit to blow afresh upon him. We entrust this beloved of yours back to your care. Amen. All right, friend, that was Vladimir. Bad, big bad number two. I invite you to think of, um, I'm going, because I'm an American in 2023 and we are so riven with anxiety and anger, I invite you to think of a person in politics, whether local or national or international. But I'm thinking like if you have someone that you consider like the big bad of um, our country right now, I invite you to think of that person right now so that we can pray for that person together. And I'm going to think of somebody too. All right. And again, take it two deep breaths to come back to now. Lord Jesus, my friend and I lift up to you. These people whom we consider um, a danger to what we hold dear. We consider them to act in ways that are evil. And so we invite your blessing upon this person, these people, our enemies. And we invite you to begin by again taking however, how I am again imagining that giant, uh, the top of the cake platter. I invite you to, to, to shield us and the rest of the world from any poor decision-making, from any malice on this person's part. So that's our first prayer, that you shield the world. Shield the world from, from whatever is going on in this person's um, dis-ease, whatever is uneasy in them and lashing out, whatever negative energy is causing them to be the big bad. We invite you, Lord, to soothe that person, to soothe the hurts and the scrapes, to soothe whatever whatever inner ouch is causing this 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 of rage or ang or fear or whatever is causing this person to act in evil ways. We ask you to soothe it at its core, to give this person the peace and the wisdom to know how to move forward in a way that can repair any damage already done. And we ask also that you bless them with courage and wisdom and lots of love and supporting relationships, healthy relationships to help them move forward. Okay. Now that kind of addresses, for me at least, that addresses my fears around this person. So now, my Lord, I invite you to bless this person just because you love them so much. Because they are your beloved. It's going to bless every cell of this person's body with, with vibrant health. Bless them with peace of mind, true peace. A knowledge that they are loved by you and in healthy relationships. And if they don't have healthy relationships at this point in their life, we invite you, Lord Jesus, to begin to open up ways for this person to be genuinely loved. Bless them. Bless them in all their deepest needs because you love them. 
we entrust this beloved of yours back to your care and in your name. Amen. I hope that wasn't too hard for you, friend. I hope you were able to do it. Sometimes it can be a little like, and then, you know, it can be so tempting to um, lean into what uh, Walter Wink, the, the, the theologian, described as the myth of redemptive violence. If only this person were gone. These groups of people, if only, you know, the targeted killings. It's not evil because we're bringing about a new world order for justice or whatever. So it's so easy to, like, pray that. Instead of praying for health of the body, to pray that the person would die, for example, depending on how bad you think they are. So we need to um, let go of that myth of redemptive violence that Wink talks about. Right, that if you just kill enough people, it'll all be okay. And remember, you, my Lord, help us to find a way to let go of um, the impulse toward violence in ourselves as individuals and as societies. Okay, friend, now the last big bad I invite you to join me for, and this is a little bit long coffee break prayer, so we won't take too long, but... I hope it's something that you can continue through the day, is to think of someone in your life, maybe a family member, maybe somebody at work or a friend who just seems to exude um, malice. <laughs> okay, yeah, you may know someone like that. We've all had colleagues or coworkers or whoever that is, a neighbor, a friend, a relative, Whoever that is, I invite you to picture that person in your mind so that we can say a quick prayer for them. And again, Lord Jesus, for myself, I'm picturing someone now. And my friend praying with me, we invite you to bring that great big cake platter topper and funk. <laughs> protect everyone around this person from whatever malice exudes from whatever poor decision-making or anger or fear, whatever. You know, in a way, it doesn't matter. If I lash out with a punch, it doesn't matter why I did it, if you're the one getting it in the nose, at least not at that moment. Hopefully later we can, you know, we look into things. But at the beginning, Lord, we just ask your protection. So we ask you to place that shield around the person and over and under and all around them so that their uh, poisonous intent, or even inadvertent poison, maybe they don't mean to be harmful, but whatever is coming out cannot cause further harm. And we invite you to bless this person. We invite you to bless them with peace, with healing of whatever is causing these bad actions, but most of all, we ask your blessing upon them because you love them so much. Address the ache in their hearts, whatever, whatever longing or pain is in there. We ask you to soothe and touch and love this person. Love them. Give them whatever blessing they need at this very moment. Bless them, Lord. Bless them because you love them. And help us to know how to act around this person in our lives, whoever they are. Give us wisdom. Give us peace. And keep that shield of safety up, right? <laughs> so somehow we are, um, we are protected from them. And if there's a lot going on, I pray that that cake topper come over you, my friend. <laughs> So that any venom that is being shot out into the in your general direction will just hit that glass away from you and ooze away. And that you would be safe. And that this person who is causing so much damage, that they would know forgiveness. That we would find it in our hearts to forgive. And that the situation would be healed. And this we ask in your holy name, Jesus, in the hope 
that you do it because you really are the God of history and the Lord of love. Amen. When I ask your blessing, too. I ask a blessing. Well, yes, I'll ask your blessing for me, too, as I pray for you that um, that you would be safe, that you would be loved, and that you would find some comfort today and have the grace to keep praying for those big bad because heaven knows they need it. Be blessed, you one, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.